Hey guys, and welcome back to a Glitch. Right, uh, when we last left off, we were continuing our adventure through the wastelands. Now, things get pretty bloody interesting on this particular area. It's pretty tough. There's a lot of these weird-ass zombie robotic bastards everywhere. But that's okay, because we have a shotgun. And we're going to really maximize that shotgun. Ah, apart from the fact that uh, they can do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> Falling into this purple ooze. That's, uh, that's going to kill us. That's going to probably kill us a hell of a lot, to be honest. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll do what we can. Now, if these uh, zombie guys look like they've fallen into the ooze, they probably haven't. They probably have not. They're kind of sly. Even if most of their gubbins falls off into there, they will kind of like rebuild themselves. Uh, yeah, really dickish. Really dickish enemies. Anyway, we have a new weapon. The slingshot. In well, you know, this is a bit of a weird one. Um, you can basically take any secondary fire weapon, like any kind of grenade or any throwable, and put it in the sling slingshot. Uh, it increases the range. Significantly increases the range. Uh, not very good with the slingshot, to be honest. I haven't used it for... A, yeah, see, it looks like it kind of went into the drink, but they didn't. Yeah, not very good with this thing. Oh, God. Must be careful. Uh, you may also have noticed you don't get any kind of uh, aiming reticle either, which is... <laughs> Well, yes, that's not very handy. Let's just say that much. Anyway, uh, I guess it's another tool in our tool belt. And uh, we're probably going to use it. I mean, we, uh, potentially, I guess, really, we could use it. Don't want to use too many coring charges here. I'm pretty... I remember from when I was a kid, you could kind of aim. Yeah, using Glitch's uh, antenna there. And I'm impressed that that killed him in one hit. Very impressed. Usually does not go that well. Yeah, okay, so Glitch's antenna is kind of an aiming reticle for it. Uh, it actually, yes, that works pretty bloody well, actually. Quite impressed with that. Okay, let's make mincemeat of these guys anyway and move on. Now, this is, isn't actually a very long level, but it's probably... By far the hardest so far. Oh, hello, you little turd. Hiding up there. Like a coward. I'm going to send a rocket his way. We're, oh, well, I mean, you know. We didn't... Yeah, that probably killed him. I was going to say, we didn't kill him, but we probably did a hell of a lot of damage. But that probably uh, fucked him up pretty badly. Um, right. Uh, okay. Got another message again about looking after a cat. I don't know. Right, okay. Um, wow, well, same person. Alright, let's go to work. Come on, mister. Step this way. Oh, God. Yeah, we're dead. Yep, dead. <laughs> That's probably going to happen a lot. This uh, purple stuff is really savage like seriously savage but we'll do what we can definitely want to just keep away from that i would say this is the hardest part of the level uh, especially in regards to the purple stuff but no no oh where the hell are you going weird never seen one just like march off like that yeah, strange. Okay, well, whatever. He's dead, and that's all that matters. Right, slingshot. Uh, shoot. I guess we're going to hold on to the sling. Whoa, thank you. Yep, you can see just how much damage rockets actually do. Uh, I'm kind of glad <laughs> that we've got more than one health bar now. There we go. Yeah, how do you feel about that, son? Let's finish him off with a blaster. Oh my god, that blaster. God, that blaster sucks. Uh, I guess what we could do is use a magnum bomb on these guys. 
Okay. Gonna be honest. Thought the Magnum Bomb did more damage against these things, actually. Uh, I mean, that one was just poor aim on my part. Come on. Get in the tube. Get in the tube. Get in the tube. Get in the tube. These things, dude. These freaking alien wannabes really suck. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, Magna Bomb. All right. I, I must admit, I expected bigger things from that. I think they're very effective on the standard grunt enemies. But uh, I guess not on these xenomorph aliens. That's cool. Note. Note for next time. Uh, you know... I guess we could just finish this guy off again with the... Oh, God. A little bit something like that. Yeah, okay. The results are fairly repeatable. I like it. Now, the nades are not too bad against these things. Let's see how many it takes. So that's two. Right, so each one takes two nades. Ah, the other, ah, the other one just like self-suicide. Self-deleted. That's fine. Now, if they're um, fully emerged and they jump into the ooze completely, they will die, obviously. It's only if uh, some of the parts don't make it all the way into the water. There we go. Um, yeah, because they will always respawn where they fell apart, regardless. Uh, so that's one pain in the massive ass about these guys. Uh, let's go with the blaster. We're getting to the point now where our blaster is kind of feeling a little bit obsolete. Definitely could use upgrading that thing soon. Ooh. Could I hear? Nah. Okay, I thought I heard. I thought I heard, heard the two droids. The two barter droids, Shady and Pockets. Ah, well, maybe we'll bump into them a little bit later. Anyway, let's continue. Look at this bloody stuff. Hmm, yeah. Not great, is it? Okay, well, we do know. <sighs> yep, yeah, that there's probably a few around this corner. Luckily, they're just normal grunts. <laughs> What a mess. Now, when I first played this game, I actually remember being stuck quite a lot here. Because I started running around this whole area repeatedly, constantly. Now, you got to remember, there's no guides. There was no um, internet back when I was playing. I mean, there was internet. But not everybody had it. And I, I'm actually quite a late comer to the internet. I didn't get the internet myself till way into the mid-2000s. Uh, anyway, there's a button here. And that button doesn't look like it's done anything, but very slowly, it is draining the uh, the weird funky ooze. Now, the only problem is, if we die, we get teleported straight back here, and we have to wait for this stuff to drain out every single freaking time. But that's okay. That's okay. We're armed with the knowledge now. Now, hopefully... Yep. Thought as much. I thought another guy spawned in there. I thought if we killed him, uh, he would be dead. But no. No, he has a friend. There's way too many of these bloody things on this level. If you think you've seen the last of them, you'd be wrong. Okay, cool. All right, let's drop down. God, you got to be so careful. I mean, even though we've drained most of this stuff out, there's still a hell of a lot of it there. Now, we're going to be leaning pretty bloody heavily on these grenades. Because this bit is a little bit tasty. Let's just say that. Uh, I'm expecting to die here a good few times. Now, we're going to keep those grenades there. Now, there's also a lot of hidden chips to be found here. Okay, let's switch up to our rocket launcher. I've got a feeling we're going to be needing it. All right, Glitch, you might want to hold on to your nuts, mate, because this is going to get a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, there's four of them there. Four of these little git bags. Luckily, they don't really like charging grenades. They will try, 
and stay away from them. Oh, God. How many's left? Just the one. Nope. Looks like there's two. Oh, God. That bit is significantly harder <laughs> than you think. Trust me. Right, so we've got a couple of little bits here. Anyway, right. So before we pick up all of that, there is a hidden chip under here. And it's sketchy AF to get. Uh, right. One second, guys. Okay, right, let's try that once more with feelings, shall we? Typical Let's Players Curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Okay, we will get this. We will get this. It's really not that. Okay, let's try this once more. Uh, hopefully last time. Now, you can actually jump across that way. Uh, I have done it a hundred times, but let's see. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. Shit. Yep, we've done it. It's definitely easier jumping from that part. Anyway, good show glitch, good show. Right, well, before we go any further over that way, let's head back inside. What are we armed with? Let's get the shotty back out. The shotty is golden. Oh, hey friends, and we can hear a very familiar piece of music right there. Now you can see this little sly pepper. He's trying to get around me. Oh, God. Almost lost a fucking ball bear in there. There we go. Ah, area sanitized. Right, let's reload. Uh, grab some nades, and you'll notice some red wires here. This is to go see our friend Arenos. Now, let's get some charge back in our laser gun. There we go. Sometimes it does glitch out. And uh, the gun doesn't look like it's recharging. That bar will stay empty, but it has actually charged up. Anyway, let's use the ripper. And boop, boop. Much better. Right, let's go to the shop. Actually, I think... Yeah, you. Yeah, there is a hidden secret chip here. Don't know if there's any golden washers on this level. I haven't really spent too much time having a look around. Although... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. The trouble with the golden washes is they can literally be anywhere. You can hide those bloody things. Oh well. Anyway, let's head back to see these chaps. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, cool. Now, this looks like you can't actually get to these guys, but you can. You just got to double jump over. Hey, friendarinos. What are you selling? I will have. Hmm. I, I keep a special supply of these EUK for my preferred customers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of which would be you. And there is no better bargain for weapons upgrades around. Let me tell you, my friend. And you yes. are my friend. You are definitely getting cheaper with these upgrades. I keep a special supply of these. Definitely worth I waiting a, a few levels. We're going to get the Scatterblaster upgrade for sure. Absolutely. Um, the mining laser level 2 is interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem to do any more damage, I don't think. But it does allow you to charge up like a single shotgun blast. The only trouble is, the shotgun blast is short range and it takes ages to charge. So, I'm not sure about that. Might get this. You upgrade, maybe. Uh, all the Ripper upgrade. Ripper upgrade's fun. I know some of the upgrades we get for free. Now, the Ripper doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, you know what? We will get the speed upgrade. Cool. We've been hoarding this money for ages, so let's spend it. Not going to worry about the mining laser upgrade, because, well, if you're backing off into the mining laser, then... You've got problems. So, uh, we now have the Ripper. Level 2 Ripper introduces a fully automatic mechanism and inflicts even greater limb damage. It saws can slice steel cable. Yeah, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, the spew, uh, the level 2 spew adds increased accuracy and causes more damage. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's quite a nice weapon. Now, Scatter Blaster. The level 2 blaster adds a second barrel for twice the close quarter damage. Yeah, it does. So this thing now has two barrels. And instead of holding 8 rounds, it holds um, 12. Now, there is a caveat, of course. It just charges two rounds at once. But it's definitely, definitely worth it. This thing is a mini monster. Anywho... Let's have a little walk around around here, shall we? Uh, oh, we've got a checkpoint. That door just literally disappeared. Maybe it opened. I didn't quite notice. Uh, can we walk up here? Ah. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Like, come on. Like, if I was going to hide a golden um, washer... Definitely would have been here. I guess we could probably fall down there, but I don't think that would be a smart idea. Uh, yeah, okay. Wow, I actually really thought there might be one up there. Ugh, never mind. Maybe next time, Glitchy. Yeah, so, not sure. Not sure. But then, we've just spent a load of loot. We need to kind of uh, rebuild that cash pile up if we can. Now, what have we got here? Now, around there is the final secret chip. Now, you'll notice as well, there is a metric ton of blaster ammo. And, right, well, let's get this chip whilst we're here. I think that's all of the secret chips on this level. So, yeah, more blaster ammo. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now, one thing I am going to do... Under that bridge, there's some goodies. Let's go grab the goodies before we go into the next room. You know, for uh, <clears throat> reasons, I guess. I'm going to be annoyed if we miss a battery as well. This is one of those levels where it feels like there's probably a hell of a lot of stuff around. Now, now we've got this gun upgraded with our friendly fire dude there. We will be firing four shotgun shells at once. Which is savage, but he's going to piss off soon. I think the shield lasts until it gets destroyed. Uh-oh. Yeah. Things are about to take a turn for the worse. Something or somebody is laughing at us. Right, let's get mobile. Let's get this shotgun working for us. Oh, man. You can see just how much more damage this shotgun does. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. I must admit, sometimes it does kind of feel like it's not hitting anything. But not often. Oh, God. Come to daddy. Come on, you little bitch. There we go. Oof. Nice. All in a day's work for Glitchy. So, can we get uh, some shells before we move on? There might be some stuff hidden around here, you know. It's certainly possible. Mm, oh, yeah, we already filled up on coring charges. Yeah, interesting. You would have thought there was, like, at least a washer or something. No, nothing for little Glitch after all that effort and all that trouble. Ugh, never mind. Right, anyway, up and over the pipe. You ready, Glitch? Yeah, there we go. Ah, hello, friend. What's the matter? Ah, I'm defective. My joints need regrinding. My crank shaft is bent. I can't even get my piston up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, what's your name, anyway? Hey? Wow, no one ever asked me my name before. Huh, I'm Moser. I'm Glitch. Listen, I'm chasing this grunt who's heading to the Mill Crater compound. Can you show me where the compound is? Yeah, I can do better than that. I, I can show you how to get there. Be gone. Hmm, Moser, eh? Well, hopefully he can get some help with his, his piston a little bit later on. So, we're finally not alone. Wow, beat that in 9 minutes 21 to get the actual chip. Oof, that's a tall order. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I guess we're going to go off with our friend Dozer and cause some trouble. 
As long as he doesn't keep talking about his piston, I think we're going to be okay. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.